Hi, and welcome to our module titled From Classical to Quantum Light. This is our module in a series on quantum communication, and this entire module is dedicated to light. Why is that? Well, let's have a look at the module overview. Light is an excellent carrier in information, and it plays a crucial role in both classical as well as quantum networks. In classical networks, it is required to transmit classical information. Therefore, classical theory of light is sufficient to talk about it and do calculations with it, and all we use are classical states to transmit this information. We have talked about classical light and in particular geometric optics in our module on overview of quantum communications. On the other hand, in quantum networks, we are trying to share quantum information, either in the form of a shared distributed state, or we are trying to transmit this quantum information. Therefore, we need a completely new language to talk about new properties of uh, light, and also we need to know how to describe quantum states of light and what they are and what are their new properties. We have covered some of the quantum states and some of the formalism of quantum states also in our overview of quantum communication. What are the main goals of this module? Well, the main goal is to guide you on this journey going from classical description of light to a completely new quantum description of light. This is a very big change. Quantum formalism feels like a completely new language. And in particularly for light, we are going to try to facilitate it by giving you plenty of experience in calculating examples and in using this new formalism. What we are mainly interested in is calculating photodetection signals, that means probabilities of detecting photons with detectors, and also give you experience in how to handle simple transformations of quantum light, mainly in the form of beam splitters. Both measurements of quantum light and transformations in the form of beam splitters play a crucial role in quantum networking. Therefore, it's the central, central goal of this uh, module. But we don't only want you to be able to calculate quantum properties of light, we also want you to be able to understand how it relates to real-world experiments and how classical light is different from quantum light, in particularly why we cannot use classical light to do quantum networking. So let's have a list of covered topics in this module. In the first block, we are going to introduce uh, the notion of wave equation and consider wave motion. We will also talk about Fourier analysis, a very general and powerful tool that's applicable not only in classical networking, but also in quantum physics. In the second block, we will switch to wave optics in the form of Maxwell's equations. This lesson will be quite formal, so in the, sorry, this block will be quite formal, so in the third block we are going to apply Maxwell's equations to talk about light-matter interaction and consider how light, how classical light interacts with dielectric materials and conducting materials. Also in this block we will talk about some of the fundamental problems um, embedded in the classical theory of light and why we need quantum description of light. In particular, why we need the idea of photons, meaning that uh, electromagnetic radiation is quantized rather than a continuous wave. Block 4 is going to switch gears and we will introduce our quantum formalism. Here we will consider how to quantize electromagnetic radiation and we will start to build some of the important tools that we will use in later lessons. And finally, in the final blocks, we are going to talk about realistic single photon states, the messengers of quantum informations, and also we will consider some other useful states, such as coherent states and squeeze states. Of course, there are some prerequisites and co-requisites associated with this module. For the classical uh, uh, light, we expect you to be familiar with complex numbers. But really, all you need are some basic notation and manipulation of complex numbers. In fact, we will give you a very brief uh, uh, overview of what you should know in the first block. Also, we expect that you are familiar with basics of calculus, such as integration and some uh, uh, basic use of partial derivative, and in particular, chain rule. This will play a crucial role in our first three blocks. And also, we hope that you are familiar with vectors, their notation, their dot and cross products, and some uh, basics of vector calculus. 
for the quantum light, we expect you to be familiar with the basic course on quantum mechanics. We will use the notions of wave function, operators, commutators. So if you haven't heard these terms before, I encourage you to go back and revisit your basic course on quantum mechanics. As well, we will be dealing with eigenvalues and eigenvectors of quantum operators. Therefore, some fundamental linear algebra is also expected. And lastly, in this module, we will use the Dirac notation. This is a very useful notation in quantum mechanics. If you are not familiar with it, I encourage you to visit our overview of quantum communication where we introduce this notation. In fact, that module is a recommended module even though it's not a strict requisite. But going over it will give you a nice introduction to the context of this entire module and why we need to go from classical to quantum light. Let's begin. <laughs> 